Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Analysis of Women Safety in Indian Cities Using Machine Learning on Tweets. The research project aims to investigate how social media, especially platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, contribute to enhancing the safety of women in Indian cities. It addresses the prevalent issue of violence and harassment experienced by women and girls in public spaces, encompassing the various forms of abuse and assault, as well as tagging. The project emphasizes the importance of fostering a collective sense of responsibility within India society to prioritize the safety of women and their communities. Twitter as a platform for sharing the images, text, messages, and quotes plays a significant role in raising the awareness among the Indian youth culture. By tweets that focus on women's safety in India cities, these messages can serve as educational tools and motivate the individuals to take decisive action against the harassers. Moreover, Twitter and related accounts using the hashtags have a global reach providing the women with a platform to express their thoughts and experience related to their safety while communicating for the work or using the public transportation. The objective is the instances of aggressive harassment such as persistent staring and making derogatory comments having redoubled become commonplace in urban environments. Several studies conducted in various cities across India have consistently shown that women frequently encounter similar forms of sexual harassment and offensive remarks from strangers. Research conducted in major metropolitan cities like Delhi, Mumbai and Pune revealed that 60% of women feel unsafe while commuting for work or using the public transportation. Women have every right to move freely within the city, whether they are heading to educational institution or any other destination of their choosing. However, they often experience the feelings of insecurity in places like malls, shopping centers during their daily commute due to the unwarranted attention, body shaming and harassment. The lack of safety measures and insufficient consequences for offenders exacerbate this issue. Disturbingly, there have been instances where young girls are faced with the harassment from their neighbors while on their way to school, and many more. Instead of placing the restrictions on women, it is essential for the society to prioritize their protection and well-being. These are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. Software requirement: Python IDE with version of 3.7 or Anaconda with version of 3.7. or jupiter or google collab hardware requirements are operating system as windows or linux processor of minimum intel i3 ram of minimum 4 gb and hard disk of minimum 250 gb these are the steps that are present in this project the first one is importing the libraries in this step the libraries are imported the data of the pandas numpy SK Learn Flask Pandas use it for data manipulation NumPy is support for mathematical operation SK Learn as a machine learning library it contains a wide range of tools for data preprocessing and model building Flask is a web application framework used to create a web server that receives the user input and returns the prediction and the second one is exploring the data set In this stage the data set containing the tweets is examined to gain the insight into its structure content and features exploratory data analysis is performed to understand the distribution of data identify the any missing values and visualize the patterns and trends in the tweets this step is essential to get a better understanding of the data before proceeding to build the model and the third one is data preprocessing It involves cleaning and transforming the raw tweet data into the suitable format for model training. This typically includes tasks such as removing the irrelevant information, converting the text into lower case, tokenization, and removing the stock words. Test data is often converted to the numerical representation using the technique like backward words or TF-IDF encoding. And the 
fourth one is split the training and testing data. In this step, the data set is divided into the two sets that is the training set and the testing set. The training set is used to train the machine learning model while the testing set is used to evaluate the performance and then building the model. Here we use the three different machine learning models. The first one is SPM. SPM stands for Support Vector Mission. It is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification task. It aims to find the hyperplane that best separates the data points of the different classes in the feature space. And the second one is Decision Tree. Decision Tree are a popular class of algorithm used for the both classification as well as of regression task. It recursively split the data based on the features to create a tree-like model for decision making. And the third one is Random Forest. Random Forest is an ensemble learning technique that combines the multiple decision trees to improve the overall accuracy and robustness of the model. And the next stage is training the model. In this step, the models are trained using the training data set. During this phase, the algorithms learn to identify the pattern and relationship between the features and the target variable as of positive or negative sentiment in tweets. The training process involves adjusting the model's parameter to minimize the prediction error and then user gives the input. And this web application framework called Flask is utilized to create a web server that can receive the user input. The user can enter a tweet or a test message into the web application and captures this input by the using of the Flask. And then the given input is pre-processed for prediction. The input test received from the user is pre-processed in the same way as the training data. This involves cleaning the test, converting it to lower case, tokenizing it and removing the stop words. And the next step is train and model is used for prediction. The pre-processed step is then fed into the train and model of different be used as of SBM, decision tree and random forest. Each model predict the sentiment or class label associated with the input test of positive or negative sentiment for a tweet. And the final step is final outcome is displayed. The prediction made by each model are combined and the final outcome or prediction is displayed to the user through the Flask web application. The user can see the sentiment classification of the input tweet based on the machine learning model for the collective decision whether the tweet is positive or negative in the sentiment. The execution of the project. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder containing of different files within it. The dataset folder contains of the dataset link and the dataset which contains of the tweets and the other columns within it. And the static folder contains of the CSS, JS, images, phones, assets folder within it. And the template folder containing of the HTML documents like of home, index, notebook, result, sign-in and sign-up. And the notebook is an IPYNB file which contains a combination of code, graph and outputs all in one place. It allows the user to write and execute the code in individual cell. And the app.py is likely contains the information related to the front-end logic. It includes the code that is written in Python that handles the server-side operation such as processing the user request, interacting with the database and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the HTML template. And the signup.db is a file appeared to be the database used to store the user information. And to execution of the project, first we need to copy this address of the code folder and open the Anaconda prompt. Here we need to change the disk position because our code folder is present in the F disk. That's why I'm writing this command. By this, the disk position is changed. And here we need to write a command that is cd space and copy paste this address and click on enter button. By this, we need to write another command that is python space app.py. Here, by this command is used to execute the 
Python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues and click on enter button. Here, after running this app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address as of like this. We need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it on any web browser and I likely to prefer the Chrome. And this is the graphical user interface as a web application and this is the home page we need to sign up that's this is the sign up page and the sign up page will take to the registration of and by providing the necessary details to create a new account but my account is already created that's why I'm using the sign in page it redirected to the sign in and here I'm giving the username and password as of admin and click on login button By this, we redirected to this page which contains of home notebook. Home is this page and notebook file containing of the code, full code present for this project. And here we need to write a message here. By that message, we can predict whether that message is of negative or positive tweet. I'm writing a message of what he did was manipulative, dishonest and coercive. And it is a sexual assault. And then after writing your message, click on submit button. By submitting this, we get a page whether this message is containing a positive or negative sentiment. So I am clicking the submit button and I am getting this message as of negative. In this way, we can analyze the woman safety and tweets by using the machine learning algorithms. And in conclusion, the project we have discussed about various machine learning algorithms can help us to organize and analyze the huge amount of Twitter data obtained including the millions of tweets and test messages shared every day. These machine learning algorithms are very effective and useful when it comes to analyzing the large amount of data including the algorithms and linear algebraic factor model approaches which help to further categorize the data into meaningful group. Support Victor Mission at another form of machine learning algorithm that is very popular in extracting the useful information from the Twitter and get an idea about the status of women's safety in Indian cities. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.